Hey guys, we just arrived at our new camping area, another station, another weekend. We're here for two days. Right, we've just set ourselves up around here. It's the vehicle. Oh, and look at this. How's that? Woohoo! Yep, dirty tracks getting in been pretty rainy and all that sort of stuff around here at the moment wet everywhere we were supposed to go to Walleen roads are closed so I had to do something to get out the house so we're sitting here on this station here right tell you later on what station we're at as you guys can see in the back of me that is the painted pinnacles so the pinnacles are behind that behind those dunes and all that they move every time there's wind so that changes all the time how good's that so here we are this is the campground i think we got number one spot i think best spot around the place all right, it's got fire going already. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. And here we are, all set up. All right, it's hay bales. That's where they put the campers, with tents and all this sort of stuff. And we've got the paddocks here. Uh, and we just said before, that's your painted pinnacles. Got a lot of cockies there on the ground. There they go. Ooh, oh, they go and racing, and number four is in the lead at the moment. Right out. And number two. And all sit on a branch, and then the lady blank, branch breaks. All on the branch, and then the branch breaks. Bang, it goes the birds. Right, so I'll show you a bit later on tomorrow what this camp's all about and what we got in here. A lot of caravans just pulled in, eh? Morning, Ed. Morning. Where are we? Nanabuk Station. <laughs> Nambung Station Stay. Nambung which Station Stay. borders the Painted Desert, which is somewhere over there. And look, we had to come in on the dirt track. Look at the state of the van, we it's all chunky with red mud. Mm. But it's nice and green here. I don't know whether Ed's going to do a drive by because there's people here, so we're trying to be inconspicuous, which isn't really a forte. Okay. They do have some vans on site. They have a camp kitchen. They have bathrooms, toilets, recycling station for all your rubbish. We've got half a dozen powered sites. Most of them are unpowered. Swing, swing around, but you don't see some kids that are ours. So you have, we've got quite a few. That's the kitchen there. Yeah. So there's the kitchen, the bathrooms. Oh, no, the kitchen. Oh, the back in the closet. That's the kitchen in there. Oh, cool. bit of um, art around the place too so I might take you 
here with her boy. I'll go around. Okay. Our station has um, recently the, the owners have retired at the ripe old age of 80, mid 80s. Up until the end of last year, they had something like 30,000 sheep on this property. Sounds like a lot, but yeah, I think that's what she said. So they've um, demustered down to about two or 300. And the couple that own the property actually reside in Cervantes and they've got managers here. Oh, there's a couple of donkeys over there. So there's a couple of donkeys. They that have bloody parrot in the front. Oh yeah, there is a parrot too. They have um, they feed the animals at five o'clock. So if you're here, you can go and have a little look see. They do tours of the painted desert at seven thirty in the morning on a Polaris quad thing, which we're coming up to. They're forty dollars per person. Um, and it's the only way to get to the painted desert is from this property. And that's what you go out in on the for the tour. Yep, that's the office. But it's it's a it's a pretty drive in. I forgot how pretty this part of the country was around the Durian Bay. So, yeah, they used to do the uh, musical. So they used to have a festival here, a country music festival. It was the Nambung <coughs> Country Music Muster, and they used to get over a thousand people here at the time. too sure what they mean or who made them I'll see if I can find out they're cool hey So we're sitting here having a couple of quiet ones. Oh, I better get one. I forgot. Here we go. Open the fridge. Shut the fridge. And here we go. We're cracking one. And what we're doing is sit next to the fire. Oh, it's got an empty glass. Right. <clears throat> Here we go. How is that? That is beautiful. Not much wind. Just put the drone up around. Just put the drone up around the place. Pretty packed here tonight. People everywhere. We've got a birthday party going in the back there, so we might have to crank the music up ourselves a little bit here, so we won't hear them, drown them out. It might be loud, there's about 30 people. It's quite a bit, isn't it, Chaz? What's that? I'm on the toilet. Oh, have to cut that out. 
Right, Chaz, what we're eating tonight? Steak. And what else? <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Bit of warning. Thank you. She gets me like that, so I might as well get her. <laughs> right. Right, we're having steak and sausages for salad. Beautiful steaks. What we've got there, sausages is bubbling. And we've got the canopy lights on. How's that? There's only one thing, I can't turn that one off, or this one. So you can't run one at a time. Bit of annoying when I still got a separate one here where they could have put it on. All right. Oh, look at that. 98, fully charged. Beer stocked up, Coke stocked up. How's that? Right. See what's like when it's off. Whoo! Can't say, can't say me anymore. I was gone. Right, yeah. Get him again. Wait, what are you doing, Chad? <laughs> I'm trying to stop getting. <laughs> I, I, we listen to Spotify. And because I'm too tight to pay for free Spotify, I have to listen to dumb ads. <laughs> the same with YouTube, I have to watch ads. <laughs> I was just trying to bypass the ads and they won't bypass. Stingy bitch. <laughs> now the outcome out of the uh, Barbie, we, this is it. What it looks like. Right, we've got Texan sausages. I'll tell you what, these are absolutely nice. The chili doesn't overrate it, it's pretty nice. Plus a steak and just sell it. Bon appetit. You'd be beeping that one out. No, we're at Durian Bay. Oh. We're actually on the foreshore. It's really nice down here. It's school holidays, so she's packed to the rafters with people, as you can see. Not. <laughs> um, yeah, she's a nice little seaside town. She's got all the amenities. But the, the bottle shop and the, the pub, which does a pretty good counter meal. And then you've got um, the tavern on the other side of town. We're just going to do it. Yeah, bakery and your cafes are, as you can tell by you can see all the caravanies coming in, stocking up, getting ready to go on the rest of their trip. Durian Bay is splits the middle between Geraldton and Perth, so we're two hours from Perth and two hours from Geraldton. Straight down. So that's your caravan park area. It's pretty well set up along here. Um, got a really nice restaurant area over here which does a beautiful sunset dinner they just do um actually it's mostly burgers and pub fare which is quite good so we oh. oh we've got a lot of gopros that haven't been uh, charged up here we are going to have something to eat here Shaz is just going to get something to eat here we are at uh, Bob H Cap we're going to have something to eat here just have a look up here. Bit of a uh, beach, ocean. Electric bike, hi, I tell you, if you'd like one. 
and here we go. We've got a sit down area here, as you can see, you guys, and you'll be sitting on the foreshore. There's your doggy sign. Right, there's a like a jetty that you can walk on. Not much of a jetty there, isn't it? Got your islands out here. Alright. Let's go and get something to drink and eat. Getting a bit thirsty. Got me bug of why we didn't fly all these GoPros up with the battery. Got three on the run and all three are just about empty. Not good. Guess what? Now I'm gonna go. Shares, where are we? We're at the lobster shack. We're at, the, we're at the lobster shack. We're gonna fill our tummy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's get the hell in here. Entrance to the lobster shack. Enter to the lobster shack. Lobster shack. The lobster shack. Sea lion tour. Who wants to see a sea lion tour? <laughs> what? <laughs> Me and my friends. <laughs> you can see I don't have a friend. <laughs> Oh, here we are inside the lobster shack. It's not bad, actually. Here we go. Darwin 2600. Shang Hong. Dung Hong. Whatever it is. I called Brisbane 3000. Ooh. Look at this. Abalone. Life lobster. Here we are at the lobster shack hunt. Here we are. And there's the menu. There's the beer and the rose. Rose from Evrans. Oh you got a big good one. We've got the Evrans one. That's nice. Look, look at the view here. Look at this. How's oh, that? Oh wow. Now we're we'll going all the way. So we're just having a light lunch, aren't we? Yeah. Just having yeah. a light lunch here. We got what? Is Squid rings and chips. Squid rings and chips, there we go. Oh look at that. Hey? Here we are on one of the uh, Savannah beaches. This. It's nice and calm here today after all that rain that we've had. It's beautiful. Look what we've got here. And stuff on her TikTok, aren't you, Shaz? You're uploading stuff on your TikTok, aren't you? Yep, <laughs> I am. Because it's a bit breezy out there for this old girl. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are back in the camp, oh, rodeo, and here we have. How was the 
Where do we go? The... We went to Durian Bay and we had coffee on the foreshore. It was lovely. And it wasn't that busy considering it's school holidays. So I thought there would have been more people there and there wasn't. So we filled up with fuel, had a look around Durian Bay and then we took a drive down to Cervantes, which from here is six kilometres south of the turnoff, coming off the Indian Ocean Road. And then we went and had a look through Cervantes, which is it's quite a small, nice coastal town. It has an IGA, a bottle of, and there was more houses there than I thought. And that's where the lobster shack lives. The lobster shack. No, we went to the lobster shack for lunch, and it was yeah. lovely. It's that's, a little bit spendy. That's where I got a fat belly. Gut from. Yes. Yeah. It's full. full uh, the, the servings are really, um, it's value for money. The food is nice. Um, they've got a microbrewery on site. And what did you think of the beer? Oh, the beer was good. What was it called? The, uh, the Lobster Shack. Uh, lobster Shack. Lager. Lager. Unbelievable. Nice. And I had a rosé and it was nice. And you couldn't fault it. The ambience of the place was beautiful and the outlook over the ocean was a really nice day. Rosé from France. From France. Yeah. France. So then we came back, had a drive through the country. It's nice and green down here, lots of banksias. Last year's fires, you can see that the regeneration of the ground is coming through. It's not seen lots of nice green shoots in black burnt bits. So yeah, it was a nice drive. So yeah. We're just getting ready to do nothing for the afternoon. Ed's going to put the drone up. Yeah, I'm going to charge it now. And I'm right. editing photos because that's what I do best. Yeah. And we've got the Nambang country music. Nambang country <laughs> muster sticker. <laughs> but the, stick, the, the country the muster stuff. isn't here anymore. It's moved to Chapman Valley. So it's at the Nabawar Tavern in Chapman Valley. So it's in September. So if you go up to the Country Muster website, they'll have all the details on that for you. It might drop it in somewhere in this episode. Don't be stupid. I don't have to do stuff like that. You might have to learn. I might have to learn now. No, you do. He's going to drop it in somewhere along here. She throws me straight under the bus, doesn't she? <laughs> Bloody hell. Look, that bus is big. <laughs> and Far we're right. having a little glass of champagne because why not? Yeah. So cheers. And having a beer. So and cheers. having a cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Nicky Nacky things. Same with that lobster shack. The lobster shack has a tourist shop where they do tours. The food and the wine and beer was quite okay priced. Um, Nambung Station do a tour. They take you down to the back end of the, the Painted Desert, which is the border of the Pinnacles. And that's $40 per person as a two hour buggy ride. So we opted not bush to chooks. do that. Oh, well, we got bush chooks. You probably can't see them, but there's emus in between the raindrops on the window. So, we've enjoyed our stay at Nanbung Station, so we're having a slow trip home. Because we're only two and a half hours away from home. Ciao! Hey you guys, we're pulled on, on the side of the road as we're heading home. And I just thought I'll show you this. This area here is Smoke Bush Reserve, right? Um, as you see here, now let's go behind me here. All this area, you've got caravan parks and your minimum nights where you're allowed to stay and park. 
but this area here is a rest stop for 72 hours max right and if you look at it on the map here this is just the park that you can stay in like we're up here right 24 you can stay there you stay at 72 24 72 all around the hills around here is all free camping right it's just one thing take your own rubbish there's no drinking water or anything like that right it's a nice area just to relax and if you're a bird lover right you've got this the black cockatoo and I'll explain to you about the cockatoos the whole lot, right? Where they nest and all this sort of stuff. And if you want information, just download it here on your phone and get more what you want to know about it. Also, this is what you normally do to protect areas like this. You clean your car, clean your birds. Anyone that's in nature, and knows about bird watching or anything like that knows that you don't want to destroy these areas and pick up your rubbish because there is shit paper around again as usual isn't there yes just take your rubbish with you right oh, and this is not a bad spot to go camping for the night if you drive past or anything like that and the views are unbelievable isn't it yeah it's beautiful if you look at behind us here and all over here and i'll tell you what this will bloom won't it when it's got the banshees going yeah it'll be pretty when the, in september yeah so just keep that in mind anyone who's watching our youtube channel or anything like that yeah we'll do give out a bit of information like this to you guys let's go for a little hike up here right this is your camping area right it's blue metal so you won't have that much stuff coming into your caravan. It'll be nice and clean. And as we know, it has rained here. People have had campfires here by the looks of it. Right, you've got your bush tracks that you can wander out through. Uh, nature is nature, I suppose. Wouldn't they be um, unbelievable if you see that sort of stuff in bloom? Although, probably have to come back here and have a look at this when, uh, when it's all up in flower. Starting to get a couple of different colours on bushes at the moment. That's a uh, bit off the track where you can go through. Bit of a wandering track. Yeah, so wing in these areas, look after them. Otherwise, there, they will get shut down if you don't do the right thing. And what I can see around here, you do have people not doing the right thing. Right. I begin to believe 